Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of The Daily Dose. We are in for a little bit of a special. We've got a account review duo with The Daily Dose, The Double The Trouble. We have Arms Race finishing and we have the Time Summons event. Shout out to Mr. D from Discord. I won't disclose your identity, it's safe with me. Say hello in Discord, let everyone know there that this is your account and of course they will give you the kudos. It is fantastic. I love to see this. I love to be a part of this amongst that free-to-play community. Look how we're going. You did really good. Uh, I have done a lot of changes behind the scenes just so this video doesn't drag out too long. Um, but I'll just basically go through my ideologies, the reasons why I did some stuff. First things first, this guy is a single target, so I took the Black Feather fan off him. And I went with the Scimitar, mainly because his rotation is in slot 6 of the formation. Oh, he should be. Where is he? Oh, slot 5. Slot 5 is fine. Slot 6 is uh, reserved for the healer, but slot 5, he's basically the last DPS to go. So when his active ability hits the lower heroes, the fewer they have, the more the scimitar will proc. Jardun, of course, has got the twin sabers. Cannot fault you there. I did, however, take off the vanquisher gear for old mate Mr. Fat Dude, Papa Chu. A reason being, he really doesn't need him. Uh, Jardun is the best epic DPS in the game, so let's deck him out accordingly. With old mate Zhang He, he went with the Black Feather fan because he hits more targets and he's a reasonable DPS. Single target, he's fine. He can have the Sunfire Blade. Back row, damage reduction, rage reduction. This guy does it all. Swallow Song is adequate for him. And of course, we have the Conqueror Halberd. Now, in terms of like resources, the bags are pretty bare. I was thinking maybe we could do some upgrades, but realistically, there is nothing to upgrade, which is also very good to see. It means that you are prioritizing your progress. That's great. Level 61, so, so close to level 62, which is what we were aiming for, or at least I was. <laughs> I'm like, shit. If he gets to 62, we can do the Beast Realm. That's fine. Tomorrow, when you unlock 62... Go over to your Beast Realm, check that bad boy out, give this guy a whack. Um, you can't kill him, it won't let me, I tried, I was like, fuck, come on game, just this one time, be nice to PB, but no, you need to be level 62 in order to challenge him, but when you do, easy clap, you'll be progressing along there. You do have, of course, the uh, Mr. Ape King. So as you progress along, you're going to get more shards the next Beast Realm across, so you're going to be able to upgrade him. But what I saw was the old man sneaky sneaky. He's done the mechanical bird all the way up to 70. So I recommend obviously tomorrow. And I looked. I was like man I would do it. I would do it. <laughs> but I don't want to spend any more of your gold. You've uh, spun enough of these. You've done your refreshes. It's fine. You can build the mechanical bird. Yeah. I wanted to check. You can do the mechanical bird tomorrow. If uh, fingers crossed for you, I wish you the best. Hopefully it appears on the wheel and then you can swap out the ape for him uh, or it and it will boost your DPS absolutely because Yardun should be hitting like an absolute beast. We're going to test him out in a second either way. But in terms of a new server, there is the total recharge event. I'd be remiss not to talk about this. For those that are spenders and you are interested with the Time Hero event, well, you're going to get some G3 gear. Uh, you're going to get some shards. I think you're going to get quite a lot of shards, maybe enough to rank up your Moon Fan 1 level, depending on what it is. And you're going to get some gold, of course, and the VIP is the bonus. Um, so if you're interested in that, go ahead, spend it. Consecutive day login. You're going to get Vanquisher set tomorrow. How cool is that? You're going to get one piece, so make sure you grab that. Make sure you link that up and you put that on Jardun or Mr. Big Sword, as I like to call him. Realistically, not too much else going on. Divine Weapons, eh, just keep spinning. Uh, don't chase it. Don't spend gold on it. It's not worth it. It's just the Emerald Lyra. Grab the shards, stick them in your bag. You'll build them eventually. Now, in terms of a time summing event, now, this is something that I was very intrigued about. 
you did gamble. You spent your 12K uh, gold in order to buy out the additionals, which is great. You got your six a day. You were looking for hunting down old mate Tokugawa. I cannot fault you on that. In reality, it's maybe... I, I've i seen people pull it off like a 10 bomb and get two. Um, but, the, but realistically, I, I, I don't know. Uh, it's just a gamble on this one. It's it's not my favorite event. I would say if you're going to spend your gold and save rotations, wait for the limited time heroes event. Make sure you save around 120 of them. You will get on the leaderboard. You will get additional shards. You will be able to make some legitimate progress that way. Short Tokugawa is nice. Um, absolutely not going to fold him or anything like that. But the reality is he's just... You know, you're just chasing something. And, um, I mean, you might get him tomorrow. You might get him off six balls. I am not going to say that's not going to happen. It's a 48% chance to do it, or 0.48%, I should say, before anyone crucifies him, we'll say 48%. It's still slim. Uh, he's okay. They've got old mate Kinshing, uh, a beast single target for Shu. They've got Mitsude, which is, again, a very interesting semi slash super fan fire dude chick lady whatever you want to call her and then of course you've got moto chico which is again a silence fiend and likes to dodge everything they all have their individual statistics their own uh niches i guess you could say honestly i um i would recommend as a free to play not to chase that it's a bit of a pipe dream work on your limited heroes progress that way now, in terms of your wishing shop, I uh, looked at this and I thought to myself, I noticed you've got some Yang Wei shards in the bag. You've also got some um, Gao shards in the bag. I think you can go with Gao. You can go with Yang Wei. You can go with both at the same time. You do have enough wishing shop shards and, and stones. Don't purchase the butterfly feather. It's a trap. Um, we're going to show you potentially... A way to get it. It is RNG based, but I, there also is some strategies behind it. We're going to try and equip you the best way to get that free butterfly shard uh, that you can. Um, but I would focus on buying Yang Wei and, of course, Gao shards because they're going to be the quickest ways for you to get a legendary within two months. I would strongly recommend doing that from today moving onwards. But in terms of arms race, now I noticed that you didn't quite manage to hit the ranking. I don't have a calculator, so I am only surmising that you were in with a shot. 438, which tells me that you were doing Conquest as well. Um, next time this rolls around, you've grabbed all of those. That's great. I would recommend having 5k gold to buy your flags. Now, I know you had 5k gold because you spent 12k gold on your limited time heroes. So you can't tell me you didn't have it. I know you did. Now... The thing with this is, if you'd got the 50 instant flags, that means there's 50 gold merits. 50 gold merits is going to allow you to buy the butterfly feather. That's a no-no. Don't do that. That's a trap. But 50 gold merits will allow you to start to save towards either buying out, well, gauss shards for one. And, of course, if you want to be like a hoarder, you can save your gold merits up until the point of you securing your legendary charms as well. But that's that's kind of premature. That's uh, that's that's really far out there. Don't worry about that. You could, of course, got the legendary shards, which would have helped your process and your progress. Um, but what the main thing that I noticed was you probably had a chance, a slim chance, but a chance nonetheless to land in the top fifteen. The last three positions were at five forty two. So. If you had timed it out, you'd done all your event currency to the max and you'd bought those uh, 50 gold flags and you've done all of that, you probably could have landed on the leaderboard, um, which is kind of a missed opportunity. I hate seeing that. Um, I hope next time you do go ahead and grab that free uh, butterfly feather and, of course, more importantly, the gold merit badges. That way you could have potentially um, boosted your power level up even further Make sure you're using your Wishing Shop stones to go ahead and progress your main two legendaries, Jiang Wei and Gao. Uh, that's what I would recommend on this account. Now, enough of the talking. Enough of the talking. Let's jump into some PvP. Let's see how we go 
Um, the plush is up. We're going to do a couple of these and end it. We're going to check out the tower as well. Uh, see if we can push a little bit there. But basically, everything is going good. Oh, look at that. Fucking single shot. Let's go. And uh, old mate Chu's still pretty hitting hard, you know. I mean, it's not like we nerfed him by swapping around the Vanquisher set. I want to see if... Ooh. He almost finished him. Almost. Let's see. Uh, let's see the damage range. Oh. Do you see that? Do you see that number? Spoiler alert, if uh, anyone wants to check out what their actual heroes do, just have a look on the statistics table. It looks like this. A little stats bar. Um, very cool. Very cool. Uh, let's, let's keep finding opponents. Let's rank you up to gold if we can. 60 million, respectable number. I think we're going to clap these guys, though. They're a little bit lower. Be nice to face somebody around our power level, maybe a little bit above it, just so we can suss it out. Dow should kill this guy. And then, mm, back row. Sword, yep. Combo-wise, it's nice. Uh, I'm going to maybe swap some things around with your combos in a second, actually, now I think about it. Um... Actually, no, that's right. I want uh, this guy first. I want your uh, short shank for 20% uh, stun chance, ground spike for rage reduction, and then damage boost coming from your uh, sword spear. That's good. That's good. That's what I was looking for. Why is that not in the um, game? Combo? No. I want to deploy you there. I want to throw you there like that. That's what I want. Okay, let's keep going. Let's uh, let's check these guys out. Let's see if um, we can push a little bit. Oh, this guy's a little bit more powerful than us. Oh, uh, let's slow it down. Let's uh, let's see how we go. Sword eater. Oof, got the stun off at the back. Love that. Get some poison out, maybe. He's got a dragon lance as well. Combo shank. Man, somebody's been watching the videos with the old shank combo. Do we get any stuns off? Nah. Ugh. And of course, he's got a healer too. Ape. Ape. <laughs> it's like a mirror. It's like I'm watching us in the freaking mirror right now. Oh no. Oh no, Chew. We're going to lose you. Uh, we got some poison off. Ground spike. Nice, nice clutch move right there. Um, he's probably going to die real quick. Yep. Which is fine. And I think our combo is going to proc soon, which is going to give us a damage buff as well. If we can kill Dank Stash, we might be in with a chance. I don't know if we're going to be able to kill him though. If anyone doesn't know, Dank buffs his, uh, he buffs his allies in his same row with 10% attack. Meaning Dalchan is getting a bit of a buff here. Oh, let's go. And Dalchan is going to kill you. Oh, no. It's all gone horribly wrong. <laughs> but I like to watch this. This is cool. And they've got the stuns off. This guy, uh, by the way, is VIP 5 that we're fighting. How do we go? Oh, I think we all know how that ends. But that's... A good attempt. And of course, Xiao Dun getting some up there. Zhang He. And I mean, Papa Chu, man. He doesn't really do too much damage, unfortunately. Let's uh, do a couple more fights. And we'll check out, we'll check out Trials. Maybe we'll find someone. It's like, it either gives you really low or really high, right? Come on, game. In terms of like rotation, yeah, it's pretty good. Um, you could probably put uh, Chow in the middle. Um, I don't know. Probably not, to be honest. Nah. No, because you want Zhang He to hit four. One more. I'll make it a good one game. Make it a good one. Uh, no, not a good one. <laughs> I think we're just going to skip ahead on this one. Uh, we can't we can't end it on that. Come on, give us give us something that's a reasonable matchmake. 
Uh, nah, not really. Uh, not really. It's closer. A little bit closer. Oh, he's got mechanical bull. Spicy. Can we kill them up the back? Maybe. Get some stuns off. Nice. We managed to uh, stun Hautau, the healer on their team. And attack buff. And then our ape hits. And then our ground spike should take away all of their... Oof. Fucking one shot. Let's go. That's another thing we can check out in a second. We're going to have a look to see how you're going with your side quest. And then uh, we can do the trials. Not too bad. Not too bad. He's still doing a lot of work. Uh, number one favorite fan is, of course, Mr. Big Sword. Keep grinding. Keep pushing forward. You will make it. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I think uh, I think Way Nation is definitely good. Uh, definitely push to try and get this sorted because uh, you're going to slot this in. Save his blessing or save his charm. You will need to use some of your epic shards to get Hao Tao out. But it is definitely, definitely worthwhile doing. Um, bio? Bio? Shoe Nation? Oh, Lord. How many? Oh, ah, starting to work towards it. Do we... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Just wasting those shards there. Trying to get some more. Maybe pop a epic. Let's have a look to see how we're going in tower mode. Ah, you've already done your daily challenge. 156. Nice. Very nice. Honestly, there's not really too much of a recommendation here. I feel like you can't really improve upon... Your current setup, uh, Jardun's got some stuns. It really is what it is. Have you been buying out your rewards? Of course you have. Very good. Is there anything else we can look at? You've spent your merit. Um, Behemoth is good. Relic store, kind of meh. What about here? Have you unlocked epics yet? You have unlocked epics. Have you been buying your epics each day, sir? That's something you probably think about a little bit. Uh, maybe start to invest in the one one piece at a time uh because you're going to be limited with how many of the currency you get but that will be a good investment strategy uh not really too much to invest here uh you can go with some training pills training pills aren't a terrible investment uh, what are we looking at for you talents try to keep pushing your talents as well obviously uh wolf okay can you click that please um, not, not going to have enough. Got 225. So you have been spending those and buying those as well, which is fantastic. Pretty, pretty tight account. Pretty much in a nutshell, there's not too much to talk about in terms of making improvements. I feel like, um, you're on the path. You, uh, you definitely can just look to focus on investing with your wishing shop. Uh, make sure you're participating in your daily missions to get those additional, uh, shards. Push your beast realm when it unlocks tomorrow at le level 62. Keep buying your shards. Keep buying your stamina pills. Keep progressing. And uh, overall, very, very good account D. I will catch you in the next one. And uh, thank you all for those that are watching so far. I might need to do a actual video of me spending on arms race with the chests. Let me know in the comment section if you'd like to see that as well. And then, of course, we can maybe do some summons or the time summons event. Uh, if somebody wants me to do their summons, that would also be an interesting thing. There's lots of things going on this week. Make sure you hit that notification button and I'll catch you all in the next one.